He's going coast to coast. Clear the runway. He's coming in. It's a helicopter slam jam. He's going to pull up from three. Count. Watch this guy go. Double drive, backs it in, and gets it. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We've got a great basketball game for you coming up next. St. Francis Knights and the Green Forest Lady Eagles. Sam, my buddy. Great to be with you. Good state to have championship you. time, the state championship Saturday. It is. It definitely is. And I'll tell you what, folks, we've got a great game coming up for you. We have great games all day long, but don't go anywhere for the first two because this championship game, there's one loss between the two teams. Sam, let's talk about it a little bit. 57 and 0, right? 57 and 0, the combined records between these two teams. A lot of excellence all season long. What we're going to see who's going to come up with a championship. One pretty amazing story has to be this Green Forest team, the fact that they were not even in the postseason last year. And here they are back with a perfect record. With seven players. How about that? Is that not amazing? It just keeps getting better with this team. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the players, the principal players, which really helped get them here. Let's get started with a senior. We talk about Theodora Ordea. And she averages 14 points uh, right at eight rebounds a game and, and two assists. She does everything. It really sets the tone for this team and what they're going to be able to do today. Undefeated, 27-0. Of course, St. Francis, you know, got that last second win last last year against Southwest Atlanta Christian. And a lot of those kids are back, too. Great basketball players returned. St. Francis, oh, their record's terrible. It's 30-1. and one. I mean, let's be realistic here. 30-1. and one. And Maya Dodson, you know, don't forget, forget that name. Here's what she's done this season, averaging 13 points, six rebounds, two assists. It's two steals per game. Uh, she does it all and really sets the tone as well. So these guards are really going to lead the play today. I tell you, it is amazing to watch these young people do so well. You've got 30 and 1, 27 and 0. Third member of our team. We're we're just thrilled to have her with her today, yeah. with us today, Jackie Britton on the sidelines. Jackie. Thanks, guys. Hey, I've got an interesting stat for you. 14. That's the number of girls on the St. Francis roster, and it's also the number of cell phones hidden away somewhere by head coach Kennedy. She likes to take them away before dinner, the night before a game, to avoid all distraction. But hey, it doesn't stop there. The girls have not been on social media since November 1st. She doesn't like having to deal with all the social media distractions. And as you can see, the proof certainly in the pudding. You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And when it goes with that social media, the players and their parents signed a contract and it's a guilty it's a bad punishment if they break that contract they're suspended for a game so coach Kennedy taking things very seriously when it comes to cell phones technology and social media and like we said if we ain't broke don't fix it here they are in the state championship game Jackie, I am happy to announce at this time that I have put my cell phone away. Mine's away, too. Yours oh, is away, too. Away. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the starting lineups today. For the Green Forest Christian Lady Eagles, Taylor Riggins, Shoma Nanmani. And here's a tough one, folks. We'll work through this one, but it's Tobu Layefa Oweyea. So hang with us on that one. Theodora Odia and Ariel Holloway. Those are the starting lineups for the Green Forest Christian Lady Eagles. Sam, uh, interesting, interesting combination of names there. Very diverse, very good players. What a what a great game this is going to be. And what a remarkable job by Coach Allison Prater she's done as the coach of this team for Green Forest. And you get a look at her, she's done a remarkable job. Like you said, 27 and 0, 11 and 0 on the region record. And the only girls team in Green Forest to go undefeated in a season. And they won two Christmas tournaments too: the Manchester Christmas Tournament and the Henry County Christmas Tournament. And here they are now, ready to go for the state championship. Keys to the game, Sam, would be? You're going to avoid foul trouble. Obviously, you only got seven players on your roster. You can't, you know, you can't afford to go out and get the foul trouble and mix things up defensively. Don't know that they can go the entire game playing the same. So you're going to see some, you know, you're going to see some zone. You're going to see some man uh, as, as this game uh, continues. Now let's take a look at the starting lineups for the defending St. Francis Knights. Nichelle Tampa, Taja Cummings, Maya Dodson, Jayla Jordan, Corey, and McDaniel. The interesting thing, look at the, the classifications. Two sophomores, three juniors. 
They lost one game this year. Next year doesn't look real promising for the opponents, does it? A big smile should come on the face of Coach Asia Kennedy. And then you see she's got a great team right now. They're poised to go for a state championship, and everybody seems like they'll be back next year to try to do it again. But what a challenge they have coming up, and here are their keys. They want to attack the inside if they can today against this Green Forest team and control the guards, as we mentioned from the very outset. Guard play is going to be premium in this game for both teams, but you've technically got to protect the guard, attack the guards uh, if you're St. Francis against Green Forest. We're ready to go, Tommy. And we're going to tip it off, and tip goes to the defending champion, St. Francis, in the darker uniforms on your screen. Drive down the middle up, no good. Bounced around and going to come out of there. Green Forest going to run it to the midline and stop and set things up. Ariel Holloway, right side to Nanami and down and at the baseline, going to stop and wait. Look, you better get rid of it. Back out at the top of the key. It's getting settled down here. You know, early in the game, might have some nerves and butterflies yep. and anticipating this game all week long. I would imagine St. Francis feels a whole lot more comfortable than Green Forest at this point because they've been here for a while. Whistle and a foul. No, no foul. A Traveling, travel as a matter call. of fact. Yes, it is. And St. Francis will trigger it and go the other way. Just underway, ladies' class. A private state championship. Those Taylor Riggins taking a couple of steps before she put the ball on the floor. Got to remember that the big game. That's a ball just gets thrown away. Long cross court pass, a bit tall there. And now Green Forest will trigger it in. Green Forest in the white with the green trim. St. Francis Lady Knights in the navy blue with the white trim. Cross court it goes. Namani. Shot is up and blocked. St. Francis gonna run. Jayla Tampa. Jordan getting a hand on that one. 14 Left the side. Looking and gonna slow it down. Trigger it over to Cummings. Resetting zone defense there. Driving, firing, no good. Rebound, follow, no good. Rebound, batted around. Firing up and good. Oh my, what a wow. shot. What an effort. What an effort is right, Maya Dodson. Just relentless, just relentless on the offensive board. Take another look at number 15. She's there, takes it. She knows she has the contact. Let's fling it up there and see if it goes. And guess what? Sometimes you have to do that, Tommy. It's going to be a good day for Dodson when she fires away. If she got that one, it's going to be a good day shooting for her. She misses the free throw, and we got a jump ball, and it's going to be possession error in favor of Green Forest. They're going to have the ball now. Green Forest in backcourt. Odia will bring it in, trigger it in to Holloway. Substitution into the ball game. And you got the end. Batted away. St. Francis with the steal. And the drive up, no good, too hard. Rebound, St. Francis batted around. A lot of traffic down in there. Green Forest going to come out of there with it. And up and ahead and to the left side. Fires, no. Rebound, St. Francis. It's fast and furious, Sam. They're up and down the floor. Both teams can do that. Tampa, top of the key. Jumper, short. Out of bounds. He misses that one. Right now, you hear Coach Kennedy is saying, go to the basket right now. Instead of, you know, she sees there's room to go forward. She sees use that size advantage. She's able to settle for that short jumper. Let's take it all the way in. And another errant pass. Green Forest, fourth turnover already in the game. And we're not two minutes into the game here. Tampa has it batted away. Let's go to Jackie on the sidelines, Jackie. 
Thanks, guys. You saw number one come into the game. I'm going to look down to pronounce her name correctly, Yulama Inugasi. She just came in, and the reason that she's interesting is because this week coach was asked, who does she want to have the ball in her hands? And she said number one. It's interesting because she's the first player off the bench, but said that she's one of those players who likes to kind of get a feel for the, how the game is going, doesn't really like to start automatically, and I can understand that. I was kind of the same way in high school, too, guys. Fifth turnover by Green Forest. Second foul. We are shooting two, I believe, here. Yep. First shot in the air, no good, off the iron. Going to get another number in now, substitution. And they got to do this quite carefully. Obviously, yep. it's been carefully orchestrated throughout the year, the substitution for Green Forest. You only got seven players. Yeah, Taylor Riggins out of the game now to get a rest. Second shot, no good. I believe we have a little bit, just a little bit of centerplex nerves on both teams right now, Sam. It'll settle in, I'm sure, in a little bit here. There's a takeaway. There's a takeaway. Namani out of bounds at the 5.05 mark of the first quarter. Holloway going to trigger it in and does drive. Stop. Looking for somebody, got somebody out near the left side. Up and in. My goodness, what a nice turnaround jumper by Theodore Odia. Good shot. We talked about Odia from the top of the broadcast and how she's one of the people that makes things go for Green Forest. Nice lead pass down under the basket and a foul down there. We could get in some early foul trouble with both teams here. Here's another look. Let's take a look at Odia. Good shot. Nice shot by the young lady. She really can get it done. Yenogasi's first foul. 442 left in the quarter. If you just joined the state championship class A private school game. 442 left in the initial quarter. Second shot, no good. Tipped around, pulled out of there by Green Forest. Lead pass ahead to Holloway. Jumper, no. Out of bounds off St. Francis. They get it up the floor quickly. They're not afraid to run with it, are they? Long pass, top of the key, down low, whistle, foul. That's going to be a foul on, on Jordan. Jordan reaching in there. Jayla Jordan. You know, I've really noticed this through the years. They don't mind you kind of bumping a little bit, but they don't want you reaching over the top. Never go over the shoulders. Well, we have played two and a half minutes. St. Francis by Green Forest. We'll be back after this time out. Like video games is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. Coming out of high school and jumping into manufacturing, I started here on the floor hands-on. and I just worked really hard and tried to learn everything that I could, and I advanced pretty quickly. I think there's definitely a place for women in manufacturing. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. More information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Yes, I knew I got the score wrong, but I just looked at the score scoreboard wrong, folks. St. Francis 2, Green Forest 2. Don't be alarmed back at home. Nobody's got five yet. Here's St. Francis Road to the championship. First Presbyterian Day, 80 to 23. Mount Perrin, 79-31. Southwest Atlanta Christian, last year's participant in the state championship game, 62 to 38. Green Forest, Padilla, 46-23. Tattnall square out of Macon, 35-28. Eagles Landing Christian, 
46-39. What's the thing that you notice most about St. Francis and Green Forest on the road to the championship? Boy, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the, the margin of victories on most of them. They, they, uh, they put, put up points over 60 points in most of the games. Green Forest is averaging a little uh, under 50. So a little slower. A little bit. Just a, little Just bit. a different, definitely a contrast in, in types of game. Absolutely. Definitely. St. Francis leads in rebounds five to one. Shot is up, no good. Here come the Lady Knights. Whistle. Yep. And another foul. Namani with the foul. Let's go to Jackie on the sidelines. Thanks, guys. I was in the huddle with Coach Kennedy and her Knights, and the first thing she was telling her girls was settle down. You girls have to settle down. Also, make your free throws. She says it all starts on defense. They've got to turn it up a notch. Extremely animated here in the first quarter. Very good. Thank you, Jackie. Shot is up and good from downtown. Nice shot that time by Jordan. Jayla Jordan with the bucket. And the correct score is now Five to two. There you go. There you go. We got it. We got it. Somebody is at five now. I just got you there early. Whistle and another foul. Somebody tumbled hard down there. Let's take a look at the three pointer. Nice form. Nice form. Nothing like when it hits the bottom of that net with no rim. Free throw. All the way gets another 5 3 now, St. Francis. Both coaches want to watch the turnovers right now. So far, St. Francis with five turnovers and Green Forest with four. Un unreal so far. And we've, we've only played half the quarter. Here comes some pressure here. 5 to 4. In four court, driving for the basket. Nice move. Great move down there by Tasha Cummings. Went through the back door, laid it up and in. St. Francis by three now. That's what Coach Kennedy was saying to him earlier. And you stop himself for a short jumper or take it all the way to the basket. That was Cummings just did. Theodore Odia off the glass. No. Fault for the rebound. Wow. Somebody went down really hard. Back outside, going to remount, reload, reset. Top of the key, drive the lane, up and good. Banked it in. Banks open on Saturday morning. Ooh, yes it was. Ten points for Holloway now. Four points for Holloway at number ten now. We'll get it going here, folks. Here we go. Odia up, no good. Somebody stepped on the baseline, turned it around, and St. Francis goes the other way. St. Francis seven, Green Forest six. If you've just joined us, St. Francis in the dark, Green Forest in the white and the green. We've played five minutes. What do you think? So far, you know, we saw from the outside of the game, felt a lot of nerves. We saw the ball sailing all over the place and turnovers and up and down the floor. Things have settled down a bit more. Drive up, no good. Turn around, good. Up and in. Dodson with the put back. She knows what to do. We saw her do that earlier in the game. She's got four. And St. Francis with a three-point lead, trying to knock Green Forest from the ranks of the unbeaten. Up and no good. Roll out of there. St. Francis with the rebound. Here come the Knights. Taja Cummings, foul there. Odia with the foul. That's her first. Not in a shooting situation yet. 157 left in the quarter. St. Francis, 9-6. Cummings back left side to Tampa. Nichelle Tampa. She goes Green down Forest in that corner to Dodson. Green Forest in that zone. 
Yeah. Outside. Wow. That'll take him out of that. I'll promise you that. Jayla Jordan downtown. That'll get him out of that zone. It's loose ball. Nice takeaway. Excellent. Whistle and a foul here. Tampa showing some hustle there. Number one. Let's take a look at Jayla Jordan's three. Nice shooter roll. Excellent shooter. I tell you what, you stay in that zone very long, you're going to get worn out. Those threes add up in a hurry. Inagasi, second foul for Green Forest. And St. Francis going to walk it down. Going to throw it up and in. No, bat it around down under. And a whistle. Was there a foul or did somebody lose the ball out of bounds? Lose the ball out of bounds, looks like. McDaniels triggered it in. Down low, up, no good. Great pass there by, by Powell. Dodson missed it. Finish. Yep. Yeah, Dodson didn't finish. St. Francis by six, less than a minute in the quarter. The look inside, turn around, the jumper, no. Whistle. Turnover again, or was it a foul? Yes, foul on Namani. Yes, that's her second. Yep. Wow. And Jordan's going to the line here. Here's where you need to score. I've always said it. Score when the clock is stopped. Shot is up and no good. Going to come out of there. Green Forest going to bring it down the court in a hurry. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Green Forest trying to drive. Well, that's a pressure defense, Sam, that St. Francis is doing. They are man to man the whole way. Nice outlet pass. Going to back up and look inside. Going to work one on one. Bat it away. McDaniels comes out of there with it, looking ahead. Ten seconds left. Driving, shooting. Got it. Nice shot. Taja Cummings with the drive at the buzzer. No. Pretty interesting first quarter. Man. We've played one at the Bacon Centerplex. St. Francis 14, Green Forest 6. We'll be back. Here, beauty is a lot more than skin deep. For more than 100 years, we have focused on creating individual success stories. This is a place where professors are mentors, competition is cheered, collaboration counts, experience is hands-on, and connections are lifelong. VSU, over 100 majors, championship athletics, focused on your success. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? 
This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not gonna come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Like, ah, I don't really you, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. St. Francis 14, Green Forest 6. St. Francis, the defending champions, and Green Forest, the challenger, undefeated. Have you ever wondered why basketballs bounce or what animal can jump the highest? For questions like these and many more, don't miss Why Wednesday for a full night of science and nature shows to explore all of life's toughest mysteries. Wednesday nights on GPB. Well, there's no mystery about what the intentions are of the St. Francis basketball team. It's a drive toward the basket, get under there and get second and third opportunities right now. They got 13 rebounds. They got seven offensive rebounds in this game, and that's the lead culprit right there. We're looking at, she's been doing a great job. Maya Dodson, she knows how to work that inside glass. 7-0 run gave uh, St. Francis the lead, and they were three out of their last five shots. Green Forest, one of four. And St. Francis will trigger it in here in quarter two. Nichelle Tampa, the point guard who has a great name, Nichelle Tampa. Shot is up no good from the right side. And saved by Green Forest. Who will cross the timeline down by eight points. They're undefeated at 27 and 0. If you missed our pregame show, nice cut through there and a nice block as well. And it looks like a foul on McDaniels. Let's take a trip to the sidelines with Jackie Britton. Hello, Jackie. Thanks, guys. I was in the huddle with Green Forest, and Coach was not happy with how they're running their offense, saying you're not running your offense. She wants to see them moving their feet more, make sure they're boxing out. They said, look, the jitters are up. We're no longer scared. You must move your feet. They didn't win the first quarter. She wants them to win the second. Namani at the line. Missed the first of two. Second one good. 14-7 now. Sometimes that undefeated status is a pressure for you. Driving up and I believe offensive foul. Offensive foul. Call yeah, for the charge. On Dotson. Dotson, that's her first. Green Forest having trouble getting the ball inbounds. And the possession arrow goes to St. Francis. Nope, Green Forest. In a hurry, Green Forest. Left side, up and no. Batted around, rebound's gonna come out of there to St. Francis. Jayla Jordan across the timeline. Long three, no, from downtown. Rebound and Karam goes to Green Forest. Driving, firing, no. Rebound McDaniel. We're running now, folks. Nice pass. Wow. Maya Dodson on the move, Sammy. She can get up and down the floor, not just post up things underneath. She can move. A nice finish right there. She was stride for stride with the point guard. Green Forest in four court. We're still in a foul. Nice pass. Dodson. She was wide open, wasn't she, Sam? It's just that awareness from teammates who've done this together for a while. We talk about Michelle Tampa knowing, knowing where she is at all times, getting in that pass in stride. Jordan with the foul. That's her second. Green Forest to trigger it in and does. Odia, top of the key. Namani driving, firing, good. Use the glass. Most high school players don't really use the glass anymore. Well, you have to work. You know, you have to work at it. You do. You know. That's why they put the backboard up there. Whoops. We saw that coming. Nice forearm. If you caught that, Sam. Yeah, I did see that one. Let's take a look at the 
replay. Nice shot. Spins and uses that glass very well. And Ogazi has picked up her third foul. Is that right? Yes. And to the line goes Nichelle Tampa. I actually thought it was an offensive foul. I thought so too, but no, defensive foul. That's once again one of the problems we mentioned in the outset of this game. Green Forest has to watch and try to avoid foul trouble. Tampa with the first of two will get another. 17 to 9, an eight point St. Francis lead. They are the defending champions. Let's be realistic here. They've been here before. Missed the second. Green Forest with a rebound. Green Forest comes in undefeated 27 and 0 if you've just joined us. And St. Francis is 30 and 1. This is a championship game. 57 and 1 in wins and losses. Amazing. And Monty looking to drive and nowhere to go. It looks like they're trying to get the ball to her, Sam. Down low. There she is. Wow. Batted away. <laughs> Excellent block by Maya, Maya Dodson. Maya Dodson. Don't go down in there. Here's a look. Look at that block. Wow. Very athletic. Very athletic. She gets a hand in right there and forces the turnover. Same Tampa. With the ball. Tampa. Top of the key, driving, firing. No. Rebound's going to come out to St. Francis. Right side, going to back up. Cummings. Trying to drive and does. Right down Main Street. That's amazing. Went through all the trees. Dodge it, Cummings. Great drive, and now that leads up to 10. Yep. Jumper. Oh, my. Ariel Holloway on the jumper. Tampa with her second foul. That was a beautiful drive. At the line, Ariel Holloway. Hit the deck pretty hard there. Really hard. Glances the lip of the rim and missed it. Got another one coming up. Nineteen to nine lead. I don't think we expected this this early. Second shot, no good. Off to the right as well. Green Forest with a rebound and bounces it off of a player. Excellent thought process on that one. Yep. When you get pushed down in that corner, you need to find some relief, don't you? Do that. Namani found an excellent thing to do. Holloway to trigger it in. OD atop of the key. Now down low, baseline jumper, no. And out of bounds. 439 left in the half. St. Francis, 19 to 9. 10 point lead and the ball. Cummings moves to the point. Down in the lane, outside three. No. She is Follow a good up, good. Yep. Dodson cleaning is it up, getting it done down low. Sam cleaning it up. Eight points already. Eight of the twenty-one by Miss Dodson. And once again, dominant on the offensive glass. Back door, nice, nice move. Riggins laid it up. Nice pass and nice back door move down the baseline. Cummings again, up, no good. Sliding under the goal. St. Francis with that 10 point lead. It's been interesting. 
It's going to heat up before all is said and done. It's getting Class there, Tommy. It's getting there. Yeah, Private A Championship from the Macon Centerplex in the Mid-State. It brings out the best in all of us. to five St. Francis run in the last six minutes and 28 seconds 21 to 11 10 point lead. Let's take a look at what happened last year. St. Francis trailing. Got the basket to win it. That was the winning basket last year. St. Francis or the tying basket. Here's the winning basket from last year. Dotson up. Good. Just like today. Just like today. Cleaned it up. She's cleaning things up and she's off to a big start today already in today's game cleaning things up. St. Francis three out of eight in the second quarter. Green Forest two out of six. Things can get out of hand in a hurry Sam with a ten point lead. And of course you know Green Forest is unbeaten. There is a certain amount of pressure on an unbeaten basketball team. Absolutely. But like you said about the St. Francis team, they've been here before. They've been accustomed to it right now. You got 8.64 rebounds from Dotson, 6.6 rebounds from Jordan so far. You got 3.47 to go still in the first half. Wow. Green Forest going to walk it down the floor, slow down the pace a little bit. Top of the key, look inside, going to drive and try to shoot. There's another block inside, up off the glass. And there's, I tell you what, Maya Dodson is really asserting herself in this basketball game. She's taking control of this game. Let's go to Jackie on the sideline, Jackie. Thanks, guys. The Knights may be up by 10 points, but Coach Kennedy not really all that pleased. She was emphasizing you girls have to rebound. So much emphasis on rebound. Can't give Green Forest any second chances. Really emphasized defense on that last huddle. Maya Dodson at the free throw line. Up and good. The thing that I like about her, she rebounds, she can handle the basketball, she can run the floor with everybody, and she is deadly at the free throw line. That too, plus we've seen her block a shot already today yep. on the defensive end. Good shot. And she's got six points in the quarter. That helps. 23-11, 12 point lead, driving up and no good. Fought for us. Green Forest, three ball, no. Cummings comes out of there with it. Taja, double team, goes past it, drives, lays it up. Oh, relentless. what a basket. She is relentless. Oh, what a basket. Taja. Driving to the basket, driving to the basket again. Wow, right Take down Main look. Street, watch. And there was never any hesitation, never any other thought. She saw the opening and knew exactly what she was going to do. And finishes a three-point play. Excellent. Oigaya had to foul her first. Three minutes left in the quarter. 15-point lead. Fired up and no good. Rebound comes out to Powell across the timeline. Back to Powell. Driving, shooting, no. Rebound Green Forest. Ariel Holloway driving the lane up. No good. Missed everything. Had a wide open door there. Cummings ahead to Dotson. Yes. Dotson can run the floor. And the guards know where to look for her. And they know where she is. She's hard to miss. No, she is. You're right about that. You're right about that. She's on the ball. Careful. <laughs> Greetings at our broadcast area. Say hello to Miss Jordan. Jordan, Jayla Jordan. 
Let's take a look at it. Running the floor, Tysha Cummings to Dodson, up and in. She just really knows which side of the basket to be on on the break. And Green Forest has missed their last five shots. 12 points now for Dodson. And something else has happened too when Green Forest has missed these shots. They've only got one opportunity, got a whistle here. What's the whistle call here? Clock malfunction. Okay. Field goal percentage, that'll tell you the story of the game. St. Francis, 44%. Green Forest, 17.4. Once again, it just happened again. Green Forest is taking shots. You're only getting one shot. Nothing on the offensive glass. St. Francis is getting those rebounds. You're only giving them one chance. And at this point, they're not going down inside. And I'm sure it has to something to do with, with Dodson and Jordan down there. Obagaya, second foul. 17 point lead for St. Francis. And Green Forest needs to get busy in a hurry. This can get away from you in a hurry. This Sunday night, join GPB as we bid farewell to our friends at Downton Abbey after six wonderful seasons with a special live event surrounding the series finale. It all starts Sunday night on GPB. Don't miss Downton Abbey. The conclusion. 28-11, if you've just joined us, 17-point differential. St. Francis in the second quarter, three of eight. Green Forest, two of six. 21 to five, St. Francis run in the last eight minutes and 17 seconds. And that's the story of the game right now, Sam. Well, I know Coach Brayton was telling her team, we watched them in the huddle, they're coming back. And you sh I'm sure she mentioned to her team, let's go out in this last minute 58 of the half. And go out and execute, get some good shots, and try to put some points on the board here before we go into the locker room. They need something positive going to the, going to the break. They need a good run here. McDaniels misses the first of one. And the second, no. Rebound Green Forest. Gonna run now is Odia up ahead and no good. Missed the layup, did Riggins. Whistled in a foul. That was more like it coming, coming up the floor. Odia fouled Riggins, that's what you wanted. They didn't get the, the basket at the very end, but that's something I'm sure is a little more pleasing to Coach Prate to see the team come up the floor, execute, give themselves a chance. Now let's see what they do with the free throws. Swanson's first foul, Olivia Swanston in here late in the half. 152 left. Second shot. No, no good. Rebound. Whistle. And the call. Third foul on Jordan. That's not a good thing. No. Nope. Picking up that third foul. I mean, here with a minute 50 to go in the half. Right. Free throw is up and good by Shuma and Mani. Second one, good. Nice shooter's touch there. 28-13 now. Less than two minutes to play in the half. St. Francis on the run. Cummings left side, looks inside, trying to, boy, they're pushing Dotson all over. And look at Cummings. She took the shot and missed it. Second was up, no good. McDaniels fighting for it. Here's Green Forest, a breakaway, up and good. Riggins on the basket. And those are the kind of good things they needed to have happen to them, Sam. Those was what Coach was looking for. Still got a minute 15 to go in the half. Shot is up and no good. Green Forest on the run again. Breakaway. Out of traffic, no. Up, no. Whistle and a foul. I believe that's going to be on McDaniels. There was a series of fouls. It's going to be like, who's first? There we go. Up. 
No good. Yeah, McDaniel's got it. They hit there at the end. You got Dodson. like what you're seeing from Green Forest Dodson. right now. Second foul on Dodson. Like like what you see from Green Forest right now. You want to see some good things from them. Probably you got to make those free throws. They have missed almost everything at the free throw line. The farther along you go into your season, the more important that those fundamentals are. And one of those things has to be making making your free throws. This is the biggest game of the year. Four for ten at the free throw line. Four for eleven at the free throw line. You have to score when the clock is stopped. Yep. St. Francis going to slow it down. Tampa going to get it to Cummings. St. Francis may be playing for the last shot. 39 seconds left in the half. Cummings playing a little keep away. Now double team. Cross court to Powell. Back to Cummings. Batted away. Nice 22 hand. seconds left. Nice hand by Holloway there. Excellent. McDaniels will trigger it in and does. Cummings. Excellent ball handler. I think she's looking for an open door to go to the basket, to be honest with you. Eight seconds. Here she goes. Up and in. I called her. You call that one. You call that one. Oh, there's a turnover. There's, uh, the clock runs out at the end. But what a note to end the half on. Tiger Cummings just keeping it, keeping it, and then driving at just the right moment. Dodson and Cummings have been outstanding. Outstanding for St. Francis. 23 to 9 run by St. Francis. Let's go to Jackie. Thanks, guys. Coach, a comfortable lead here at the half. I mean, what isn't going well for you guys so far? Well, we're not rebounding well. We're in a little bit of foul trouble with some of our starters. Um, we just got to continue to rebound well. They can't, we can't give them open layups. Um, so we got to really work on switching. They're screening a lot, cutting to the basket, and so we got to talk about that. This week that you talked about how well your team transitions, you think they've been doing a good job of that so far? We have been doing really good in transition. That's what we've been working on for the last month. Um, so we're doing a good we're doing a good job there. All right, good luck in the second half. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Mark, we'll send it back up to you. Thank you, Jackie. Coming up on the GPB Halftime Show, we will have scores and highlights and check in with what fans are talking about online in the world of social media. Plus, when we come back to Macon Coliseum for day three of the GHSA Boys and Girls State Basketball Championships, we are live at the Macon Centriplex, live on GPB. St. Francis leads it 30 to 15 at the half. We're back after this. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Right now, I'm about 100 feet high, traveling at about 50 miles an hour, just thinking about where I should go next. Do you have any ideas? Visit us on our Georgia Traveler Facebook page. Gotta go! Nothing prepares you better for a great career than the technical college system of Georgia. TCSG colleges produce graduates with the knowledge and training today's top employers are looking for. With campuses across Georgia, state-of-the-art facilities, and outstanding instructors with real-world experience, it's the kind of affordable college education that will fast-track you into a rewarding career. We're building a better future for you. Contact the TCSG college in your area today or go to tcsg.edu. Cotton contributes $2.5 billion to the state's economy annually. It takes more than 60 cotton gins and manufacturers to bring cotton into our everyday lives. Kids always like to stay in the pool a little too long. And when they do get out, covered in goosebumps, you feel the urge to wrap them up. The cozy embrace of cotton does the job. Cotton, 
the natural choice for Georgia. Welcome to the first of six GPB halftime shows today. Right now, we're at the break of the single-A private school girls game between undefeated Green Forest Christian, 27-0, and the defending champs, the Lady Knights of St. Francis. We'll have first-half stats and highlights coming along, but first, let's check out the Georgia EMC scoreboard, get you all checked up on the first half here, and then what's coming up later in the day. Right now, at the half of the Class A private schools game, it is St. Francis leading Green Forest Christian, 30 to 15 your score. Coming up next, same two schools. It's the Green Forest boys taking on the St. Francis boys. Coming up at uh, three o'clock, it's the AAA girls game, Morgan County taking on Jackson. And then in the class 3A boys game, Morgan County again going for that boy girl daily double. They'll take on the defending champs, Jenkins. And then in class 6A for the girls, you're gonna have Tucker taking on McEachern Indians. And then in class 6A boys, Westlake looking to take on the Falcons of Pebblebrook. A lot to get to as we continue here on our GPB halftime show. We're only just beginning as we are underway here at halftime of the single A private game. First, let's get to what everyone's talking about on social media. Let's get to a few tweets. We have one fan chiming in. The St. Francis team isn't allowed to use social media during the season. Imagine that. No social media for five months. I know it's an odd concept these days, isn't it? But look, so far the proof is in the pudding. Coach said that she doesn't like, she wants to instill conversation, real conversation conversation when they have dinner together so she takes them actually the night before the game before dinner so they can rest not be interfered with any social media obviously an interesting philosophy but one that clearly seems to work then we have Amy chiming in saying watching the online feed from Indiana to see my niece and my St. Francis go team that's right Amy is streaming it from gpb.org slash sports don't forget that you can do that and she's watching from out of state too so we love to have you here if you're watching from out of state just like Amy be sure to let us know where you're watching from. Send us your photos. Later on in the day, we will be giving away selfie sticks and some other GPB swag for the photos that make it here on the air. So don't forget to do that. A great reminder, Amy, you can stream these games live at gpb.org slash sports. And then also, if you're going to tweet us, use the hashtag spirit worth sharing. So a lot to get to. Make sure you find us on social media. But now it is time for our career play of the game brought to you by the Technical College System of Georgia. Want to work in Georgia's booming film industry? Learn movie production and set design for free at the Technical College System of Georgia. Find a career in this exciting industry as a production assistant, rigging technician, makeup artist, and more. A free education in 10 high demand industries awaits you at the Technical College System of Georgia. Change your life, tcsg.edu. Well, it's been a pretty interesting first half so far. And in the boys' game coming up next, it's the same two schools. And a lot of people say that game might be the best game of the entire three days. A lot of people are saying that. It's basically like you're going to be seeing double. So we'll see what happens here. Green Forest, Christian, you know, they got to make some changes here in the second half. Not a whole lot of depth on that team, which is certainly really interesting. you got to give them a lot of credit. Only seven girls on the bench, but they're, they're doing a great job out there. And then St. Francis, they have five girls over six feet. Not all of them are playing in this game. One of them actually is injured. But but still, a huge advantage to have five girls over six feet. I can't imagine in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting ready for the second half of uh, this one, the girls' public A game. It's the undefeated Green Forest Christian team, 27-0, taking on the defending champs, the Lady Knights of St. Francis. And don't go anywhere because Tommy Palmer, Sam Crenshaw, and I will have you covered in the second half. We'll be right back after this. Providing safe, affordable, and reliable electricity requires more than bucket trucks and utility poles. These are the faces behind your power. For more than 75 years, Georgia's nonprofit, member owned electric cooperatives have been on a mission to brighten the lives of more than four and a half million Georgians. We are Georgia's EMCs, proudly serving our members, lighting the way. Where do you come alive? 
a stadium, lecture hall, a music hall, church potluck? This year, you have a new spot, walkgeorgia.org, a free website that provides you with all the resources needed to get your heart rate up and body out in your community. Sign up and receive individual or group fitness tracking, fitness demos by certified trainers, recipes, and a guide to resources in your Georgia County, all in one easy-to-use site. When you move more, you live more. walkgeorgia.org. The only thing I'm not ready for is a life without you. We never know what's coming. Did you ever think we'd get to this day? You're not going to believe it. You better come quickly. Oh my God. Extraordinary. <laughs> Hurrah. It'll be a different life. You'll always surprise me. I'm ready for this chance. Thank God. Sunday at 9 on GPB. What's the next great American invention? Meet a few Georgia Tech students who have an idea. We're Team Replantable, and we've invented a way for people to grow produce right in their kitchen. Engineers and innovators of every stripe present their proposals to the judges. Science and engineering. Industrial design. Mechanical engineering. engineering. Computer engineering. Electrical engineering. See the teams who've earned a golden ticket and who will take first place at the 2016 Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech. Wednesday, March 16th on GPB. And we're back. We are at halftime. 30 to 15. St. Francis over Green, Green Forest. Christian, now what do you think about the first half now? Did Green Forest salvage what the game means by that little late run, Sammy? I don't know how much it did, but it gave him a little something to go into in the, in the, in the locker room. It gave Coach Prather a little something positive to talk about because so much had been going St. Francis' way. They've been dominating, getting those second opportunity shots on the offensive mm -hmm. board. Up and down the floor, and Maya Dotson has just been everywhere for them. Here's the thing that concerns you about Green Forest. They've had ample opportunities to stay close in this game. They're 4 of 11 at the free throw line. That's dangerous. It is. And it's, as we said earlier, the farther you go into the season, the more important the fundamentals become. You're in the biggest game of the year. And as you always like to say, Tommy, there's nothing like making those baskets when the, clock's, when the clock is stopped. They're going to have to do a much better job of that in the second half. Also, Green Forest has really got to do something with Cummings and Dodson. They've not handled them well. they got to pray they're going to foul out. So, I mean, that's basically, and both of them, are, you know, have some dangerous foul problems. So let's go to Jackie on the sideline and talk to her. Jackie. Thanks, guys. Coach, down 15 at the half. Certainly not maybe how you thought the first half would go, but what are your impressions? What was the locker room vibe at the half? Well, first of all, we need to box out and control the boards. Uh, we got to push the ball up the court uh, once we get the defensive rebound. Uh, we just have to stay between them and the basket and stop allowing them to penetrate the paint. Uh, and just, just play hard. Just play hard and stay out of foul trouble. Not a lot of depth on your bench there, but you said your girls are in tip-top condition, and that's what's gotten them to this point. Are they feeling that way right now? Yes, they really are. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready to fight. All right. Thank you, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. Tommy and Sam, back over to you. Thank you, Jackie. And let's take a look at the highlights, Sam. And there's a drive right there. You saw to Taylor Riggins. That was good. Another one by Riggins as well. She has four points in the first half of the game. And that was toward the end of the half. That was maybe something good for uh, Green Forest to build on. Let's see how they come out and start the second half of this basketball game. And let's take a look at uh, Maya Dodson. What a half. And she's all around the basket. There she is. That second, that third opportunity. This is early in the game. She just took it and she knew she had the contact, threw it up there and in. Here she is again with the offensive glass in the basket. She does that and then she gets up and down the floor in transition. Can finish that way too. She is a player, no doubt. She is. Let's take a look at the stats for Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. St. Francis, 12 out of 29, 41.4%. Green Forest, 5 for 27, 18.5. That won't win you many basketball games. Three-point uh, field goals, 40%. No, no threes from uh, Green Forest. Rebounds, basically even, which really kind of surprises me, as does the turnovers. But here's the difference in the game. Isn't that something? Okay. Points in the paint. Down in the bottom, when we just took a look at Maya Dotson and what she does so very well, points in the paint tell the story of this basketball game. 
Stats are courtesy of West Georgia Technical College. Isn't it amazing how you can say, wow, what would be the biggest difference? And when you look at points in the paint, it's that, always the killer, isn't it? Absolutely. And there she is. She's poised to start the second half, talking about Maya Dodson. She has been. I always enjoy all of the players, but there's always one or two players that really get you excited about the basketball game. And you think about it, she's been in this situation before from last year, and she's a junior. Yes. Here's the amazing thing. She was out front handling the ball. You know. Shot is up and good. She gets things started for the second half. Pick it up where she left off. 14 points yep. for Dotson. Green Forest. Holloway. Looks right. Now I'm going to fire it down in the corner, bat it away. 30 to 15, just underway with the second half of play. Holloway to Namani. Driving, shoots it left side, jumper, excellent shot by Namani. She's got seven. They'd like to see her get heat up here in the third period. Through the baseline, no. Follow up, no. Also by Jordan. Whistle and a foul. Odia, her second. At the line, Jayla Jordan. Took all the extra dust out of the rim that time. Yeah, just it. Bounced it everywhere. Second shot, good. Green Forest now. Eight points for Jordan. Holloway traveling. It's a travel. Travel on. Was that Regan's? Yeah. St. Francis with the lead and the ball. 34-17. St. Francis, the defending champions. In traffic, out of traffic. Pull up jumper, no. Dotson. Really stuck her hand in there. I thought we had a foul call, but obviously not. Nope. Ball just knocked away. Added out of bounds. Four court. Namani. And look at that takeaway. Taken away by Dodson. And leading the break. Was looking at her defending that time. She's defending all the way up at the, at the perimeter. She's not back in the basket. That's one of the biggest players on the floor. She gets the block, the strip, the takeaway. And comes all the way back. She gets to go to the free throw line. Inagasi's got four fouls. And this is one, which is a rarity. It really is. She does everything so well. She is a complete player. No doubt, Sam. Second one good. She's having a good day at the office. 15 now for Dotson. Shot is up. No good. St. Francis in full court, driving down the lane, taken away. Nice defense, I think, on Holloway. Ariel Holloway got a hand in there, turn up and over. 
St. Francis loses it out of bounds. That's Tampa with that extra hustle. Green Forest Holloway loses it out of bounds. And there is some concern from the St. Francis coach, and you would wonder why with an 18-point lead. On the break, Dotson goes down hard, missed it, tried to throw it up in there left-handed. But there she is once again, and there's that awareness once again of Tampa, knowing where she is. She knows she's there, just lays it over to her, and they get the foul to stop her from getting the layup, but there she was stride for stride. Holloway with her first. That's the first thing I've not been able to see her do. Guess what it is? Is that left hand? Left hand. She has ah. not used her left hand yet. Okay. Okay. So that's the first thing I've not seen her do. Make note of that, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> you probably see it before this game's uh, over. I, I, she'll probably dunk with a left hand or something just because I brought that up. You know, 36-17, 19 point lead. So you ask about my left hand, huh? <laughs> she'll show I'll hear you. about that. She'll I'll get an you. email about that. Yeah, you Trust will. Me. Yeah. yeah, you will. But I, I say she's the complete player, and I said that's the only thing I've not seen her do is shoot it with her left hand. She missed the layup there. And Monty drives and is fouled. Fouled by McDaniels, her first. St. Francis is sort of, for lack of a better way to put it, free throw is good. They've kind of put it on cruise control, haven't they? They have, but I'm not sure that's what Coach Kennedy wants at all. 15 to 7 run, 15 to 8 run now. She wants them to continue to be aggressive, continue to play smart. But I don't think cruise control is what she's, she has in mind. Driving and firing no good. Follow Jordan good. Jayla Jordan. I tell you what, those guards for St. Francis are not afraid to go down the lane, are they? They are not. They are not. They are fearless. There's a takeaway. Jordan again with a takeaway. Dodson and Jordan running the lane. Jordan left hand. Thank you. Take that, coach. <laughs> and what he, you got to say? And he just pushed me. <laughs> Sam just pushed me at the broadcast area. So, oh, I'm oh, show you. Yes, you got left hand. So much for not being able to see the left hand. Take a look at this one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's watch left hand. Look at that. Thank you. 40 to 19, 21 point lead for St. Francis over Green Forest. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the Technical College System of Georgia to put your plan into action. St. Francis 40, Green Forest 19 state championship game. Just in time for baseball season, Ken Burns presents his latest documentary, Jackie Robinson. It's an enthralling look at the groundbreaking career and civil rights activism of a baseball legend, featuring extensive interviews with his widow, Rachel. See how their love story was the foundation for all of his success, coming Monday, April the 11th on GPB. Ken Burns is amazing. I, lo I love his storytelling. Oh, he's and, uh, done some of the most wonderful documentaries I believe I've ever seen on absolutely, television. Absolutely. No doubt. The story behind the story. Yep. He's, nobody does it like he does. St. Francis 26 to 8 in the paint. In the third quarter, St. Francis 3 out of 5, Green Forest 1 out of 4. St. Francis with an 8 to 2 run in the last two and a half minutes. Wow. Four minutes left in the quarter. 4.04 left in the quarter. And St. Francis is, for lack of a better way to say, 
running this one. Clock issues yet again. We have a few of these from time to time. Every now and then. Not a lot, though. Not a lot. Nope. Michelle Tampa, top of the key, left side. Looks inside. Dotson back to Tampa. Going to drive and fire. Got a whistle on a travel call. Traveling. That's one thing you don't see called very much anymore, Sam. No. Not as much as it used to be. No, you're right. You're right. You generally give them three steps now when it used to be two and you pray. Shot is huh? up. No good. Batted out of there. Coming out of there, Taja Cummings. Here she on comes. a run. Up to Jordan. Good. Jordan off the glass. The two tall girls, Jordan and Dodson, use the glass exceptionally well inside. But when you got a guard, a point guard like Taja Cummings, who knows, knows where they are, they play together, knows where to find them. When she's on the move, they just get to a spot. She hits them with the ball, and you see the results. The two, as I call them, trees have 18 and 12 points respectively. Good days at the office for Dodson and Jordan. Here she comes once again, talking about Cummings. If you're facing that on the defensive end, you know she's coming. It's a matter of who she's going to give it up to or she take it all the way herself. Top of the key. Thrown away, looking for Cummings. Tipped away. 256 left in the quarter. 42 to 19. This is not what we were expecting. Long three ball. New number in the ball game. Olivia Swanston. Powell with the bucket. Her first. Look inside. Turn around. Got a whistle there. I believe that one's going to be called on Jordan. I'm not sure. Namani. Third. The ball gets away there. Shot is up and no good. No good that time. No day yet. 44 19 inbounds. Oh my. Everybody missed everybody. And now a foul. Tampa with a foul, her with, third. And with the size now to the lineup, you got a different type lineup now for St. Francis. You got Jasmine Ferraro in a shorter lineup. And let's see if this lineup allows them to do some things differently maybe than we saw when they had Jordan and Dotson in the game. Right. Although Dotson's about to come back. Odia with the first of two makes it a 24 point game at 44 to 20. Second shot upcoming. No. Rebound going to come out of there to St. Francis. Cummings. Right side on the center plex logo. Trying to work in past the zone defense. Looking inside. Nothing there. Back outside, now inside. Dodson gonna go left way and pass it up. Look back outside, gonna reset. Whistle, I believe we're gonna get a timeout here. GPB's longest running local show, Georgia Traveler, continues to scour the Peach State for all the newest, oldest, weirdest, wildest attractions for you and your family to explore. Make sure to check out Georgia Traveler's Facebook page to stay up to date on the latest and greatest 
from the Traveler team. St. Francis five out of eight in the third quarter. Green Forest one out of seven. Wow. That's the difference. That's his lead it's extended now. 44 20. I don't think we expected a 24 point difference in this one. St. Francis top of the key. Powell. Long three. Swanston. Fouls on Swanston. That's her second on the follow up of the three ball. And Monty driving no, following yes, yes, nice follow up. Nice second effort. They have sort of put the game on her shoulders here, Sam. If you will agree with me or disagree, six and a quarter. Yep. Buying money. And Dodson, too hard, up and above the rim. In traffic. Swanston again. She's picked up two in a hurry. Watch this follow here, Sam. Money getting on rebound, putting it back up and in. Left side. There's Dodson with the takeaway. Good hand. Then two on one. No good. Rebound. And Monty has it batted away and lost out of bounds. I believe that's going to be off of Cummings. She's all over the place. She's a little water bug, isn't she? She makes things happen. Yes, she Look does. Guard. She does in Tampa. Uh, very active with the hands and the extra hustle. Shot is up and good. Riggins with the bucket. Six. Swanston going to fire yet again. And bat it away. Break away and money. Driving, takes four or five steps and lays it up and in. And count that one. That was that's the one. That's where you call traveling in the old days. Yeah, well, that was not not this time. That was a few steps. They're not going to call that one. Watch this. No, but not really. Well, and here's Riggins coming back. Green Forest. Trying to put the go a little rally here to end the third period. Fouls on Powell. That's her second. Four point four seconds or four point three left in the quarter. Shot is up in the air. No good. Wow. Seven to nothing. Green Forest run. Riggins at the line to shoot the second of two. This would be a close ball game if you shoot 75% at the free throw line. Second one's no one. good. Another miss. And we have a scrum for the ball. Possession arrow goes in the direction of St. Francis. Yep. Don't have enough time to get it up the floor, though, do you? I don't think so. You've got one second. That's it. They're going to let it land right there. Yep. In backcourt. Well, it's an 18 point deficit now. 44 26. One quarter to play. Time for Green Forest to put the pedal to the metal in this championship game. We'll be back with the final quarter.
Life, like video games, is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. I attended the College Career Academy when I was a sophomore. At the time, I was working at Taco Bell, but I realized that just wasn't for me. What I do here in my job is very similar to what I did at the College and Career Academy. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. Information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Two, three, six. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. St. Francis 44, Green Forest Christian 26. Let's go to Jackie Britton on the sidelines, Jackie. Thanks, Tommy. St. Francis is up 44 to 26, but Coach Kennedy not happy in that last huddle. Said she's not happy that they've let Green Force get back in the game a little bit with unnecessary fouls. She wants them to make their layups. If they're out of position, don't force the foul and stay patient. Very animated about that, guys. St. Francis missed their last six shots also. Green Forest hit their last three field goals. St. Far uh, St. Francis had a 12-2 run to go up 44-19. Then Green Forest finished the quarter on a 7-0 run. So Green Forest put the pedal to the metal a little bit. A little bit, and Coach Kennedy knows that she wants to avoid the fouls because while they're having problems at the free throw line, you don't want to give them more chances and more opportunities. Holloway with a miss. From St. Francis. Shot is up. No good. Batted away by Dotson. Daniels has it knocked out of her hands. She'll trigger it in here. Cummings looks inside. Nothing there for Dotson. Double and triple, and now going to drive and lose it. And it's tied up. Possession arrow. St. Francis. Baseline. Looking inside. Wow. Dotson went up in the air and got bumped yet again. She's taken some punishment down inside today, hasn't yep, she, Sam? Yep. She can handle it, though. She yes, can she handle can. it. You know? Inbounds she, again. And she gears her game to that and knows it. There she is once again. Same the same play. Left and it didn't go this time, but the left hand shot. Yep. Cummings up off the board. No good. Rebound Green Forest on the run. Nice backdoor basket. Just laying it up there. Riggins with the basket. Now has eight points. Pressure of defense from Green Forest. St. Francis double teamed. Tampa. Down inside, Dotson drives, yes, laid it up and in. Once again, she's cleaning it up. The ball's there, it's the rebound, puts it back up and in, and now the turnover. Turnover on a pass. You're behind late in the game, you try to make things up and do too much. Here's another look at her. Lays it up nicely. 13th turnover for Green Forest. Dodson 
No, Jordan, no. Those two young ladies will really get after that backboard, will they not? They really do. They go there and they attack it. Owagaya on the foul. That's her third. Jordan misses the first. Substitution. Then Yagasi coming back in for Green Forest. Let's see who goes out. With the long hair, difficult to see on the back of the jersey. Owagaya out of the game. Second one. No, Dodson cleans it up and puts it up and in. She does it again. I'm telling you, 22 points for Maya Dodson. Drive, whistle. 46-28, 18 point lead. And Green Forest came in undefeated 27 and 0. Cummings with a foul, that's her first. And to the line is Ariel Holloway. St. Francis came in 30 and 1. Green Forest 27 and 0. Yeah. But just some things we wanted about Green Forest. We wanted how they were going to do as far as their rotation. When you only have those seven players on your entire roster. Holloway five points and three rebounds on the day. Jordan cleans it up. Missed free throw. Cummings. Left side. Down low. McDaniels. Jordan. No. McDaniels follows. Batted away. She's not happy about that either, is she? Uh, she had an opportunity right there. And it knocked away. Triggers it in. Again. Dodson, too hard. Follow up, no good. Rebound, Green Forest. Namani, good. 15 points. She's had a good day. She has had a good day. Shulman Namani. Green Forest pressure in the backcourt now four court running no good Dodson cleans it up no good Dodson again no <laughs> she's babbling on the glass down there get that second or third opportunity let's take a look at it here's Nagami or Namani up and in that's a look at that no basket at the other end. Green Forest now heads the other way. 5.21 left in this one. Top of the key. Namani uses the glass. Good. She's heating up 17 points now. Namani with the basket. Pressure in the backcourt. On the run, McDaniels. Gotta go for that step. Yep. Changed her mind in midstream there. She had one thing in mind she wanted to do and held, hung that foot up there for a second. We got a travel call and Green Forest gets the ball back. Yep. Got a little Four. momentum there for Green Forest. 14 to four, Green Forest run. 48, 33. This spring, don't miss all the new episodes from GPB's Emmy Award-winning nature series, Georgia Outdoors, as host Sharon Collins explores the beauty of our state. Make sure to check out the Georgia Outdoors Facebook page for behind-the-scenes photos, upcoming showtimes, and more. We've got us a good one coming down the stretch. Green Forest has answered the bell here all of a sudden. They so. have. They tried to wake up and go to play, and only got enough time. 5.02 to go in the game. Plenty of time. 14 to 4 run by Green Forest this time. And I'm sure on the sidelines over at St. Francis, it's a, you know, one of those situations. Uh-oh. We, yeah. we need to watch what we're doing here. 48-33, now 15-point deficit. And you Still a lot to make up. You mentioned some of the third period. Maybe St. Francis was a bit in cruise control. Forest down in the lane, whistle and another foul. Cruise control is not necessarily a good thing when you have a large lead. 
even in the pros. If you remember yep. this past week, a 20 point, a 22 point lead evaporated in a hurry, didn't it? Yep, absolutely. It can happen. McDaniels with her second foul. In Ugasi, no good. Unbelievable in the number of free throws. St. Francis is two of 19 in their last field goals. Now three of 20. 436 left. Long pass. Down under. Up. No good. McDaniels going to come down with the rebound. Pressure. Driving the lane up and whistle and a foul. Taja Cummings is just relentless driving down the lane. It doesn't matter. Middle of the lane, side of the lane, left side, right side, doesn't matter. And she's been that way all game long. She does that, and she knows where to find the players around her when she, do, when she does the drives. Holloway with a foul, second. Free throw is up and good by Cummings. They're going to call timeout here, 50 to 33. 4.19 to go. Plenty. It's an eternity. Four minutes and 19 seconds is an eternity. But you're going to have to get on a real run to get this one any closer. You got to go out and, you know, no, no time to waste trips up the floor. Each time up the floor, you got to go out and, and get a good shot. You know, you lose balls, your 50-50 balls. You got to go and claim all of those right now and work on the offensive glass. I'm sure those are some things that Coach Brayton are reminding her team as they go back out to play this final 4.19. Jayla Jordan has had a nice day at the office. Let's take a look at some of her highlights today. Indeed, she has. She's shown that nice stroke she has from outside. Tommy, look at this. Excellent form. And then she could be in there to help finish things up on the inside. What a one-two punch she and Dots now. And they're back next year. That's this is thing, yeah. Two sophomores, three juniors. Amazing, isn't it? And the starters. Jayla Jordan, 14 points, 11 rebounds. St. Francis, three out of 14 here in the fourth quarter. Green Forest, three out of four. Pressure in the backcourt. Namani. To Inugasi, out of bounds. Halfway point of the fourth period here, St. Francis by 19. Foul trouble, Jayla Jordan with four, Nichelle Tampa three, Olivia Swanston with three. And that could be a key. Could be. Down the lane. I tell you what, those two, Jordan, and Dodson had just been special down inside. St. Francis. Going to slow down the pace a little bit now. One on one. Driving. Cummings. Shot is up and good. Yes. That's a nice move down there by Michelle Tampa. Look at this. Look at this defense. Dotson. Wow. That was a tangle there. It was a tangle, but remember. She's all the way up and she's applying some pressure there. Here she is. She's fighting for a loose ball. She's got it. They're all tangled up. Third foul on Holloway. 324 left and Dotson going to the line. Sam. Yeah, that was a turnover that Green Forest could, could, could ill afford. They needed to get up the floor and, and get a good shot off. It didn't cost them, but she didn't make the free throw, so here they come again. Green Forest with the rebound. Namani, no good. Batted away, out of bounds to St. Francis. And you had the player with the look and the shot that you wanted to. She's had a great second half for you. Just was able to get that shot to go. It's amazing how teams have great runs. St. Forrest now on a 6-0 run. Cummings. Drives the lane on Namani. 
Gets it away to Tampa, who's going to take her time. Tampa going to drive and look inside. I believe St. Francis has called the time out here with 2.48 left. Okay. In your opinion, what has been the ebb and flow of the game? The difference, in my opinion, has to be the free throw line. Absolutely. That was that. And then, as we saw at halftime, points in the paint. Uh, the fact that, that, that St. Francis has been able to dominate the points in that area. But when they've been able to, to uh, give, uh, give up fouls, and then you see the foul trouble situation now for Green Forest. The Green Forest goes to the free throw line. They haven't been able to convert. They convert those free throws, Tommy. Imagine how close this game could be right now yeah. if they, they need to be more successful at the free throw line. Yep. Some foul trouble there. Wow. Yuloma and Yugasi has four. That is definitely danger Will Robinson territory. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, especially when you come through the door with seven players, you know. Wow. You that one, that's, that, that makes it extra tough. You know, last year, Southwest Atlanta Christian had the same situation with six or seven players for a couple of years in a row, but they managed to make it through. Yep. But it does alter the game, in my opinion. All right, Jackie was listening to St. Francis. Let's see, Jackie. I was, and as you can see, Coach Kennedy certainly fired up just about two minutes left in the game, but she's not letting these girls go easily. She wants layups, short jumpers. Don't give them any second looks, she says, at the basket. She says, let's go. Let's finish this thing off. St. Francis, four of last five in field goals after a two for six performance. Traveling going to be called on Cummings. 19 or 21 point lead now with two and a half minutes to go. Green Forest can ill afford any mistakes. Backdoor good. Nice move down there by Uloma in Ugasi. In four court, Tampa. Whistle. And the foul. She hadn't let up. Holloway. Tampa, Four. Tampa are Cummings. They haven't let up. They're just driving forward. They're coming at you. You know, it, it, it helps when you have two big people who can handle things around the goal and when you have two point guards. Yeah. They've got two point guards. Uh, no doubt that Cummings and Tampa both just flip flop on the point. Absolutely. Absolutely. They handle the ball well. Tampa fires good. 20 point lead now at the 213 mark. Namani trying to drive, passes off, shot is up, off the iron, no good. Jordan going to pull down the rebound. And here comes Taja Cummings. Not a lot of difference in Cummings and Tampa. Both are just super talented ball handlers. And here's Dodson back out near half court, ready to handle the ball. Got a whistle there. And Monty with the foul. That's her fourth. Boy, they're really getting loaded down with fouls now. Late in the game, minute and 41 left. At the line is Nichelle Tampa. After a break here. Yeah. St. Francis going to take another time out here. Minute 41 to go in the game with a 20 point lead. Makes you wonder what they got to say on the sidelines. <laughs> Maybe Jack will find out for us. Don't run on the court after the game's over, right? Wondering what the next great American invention will be? Meet some innovative Georgia Tech students who have an idea. Watch the teams make their proposals to the judges and see who takes home first place in the 2016 Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech. Wednesday, March 16th at 7.30 only on GPB. Holloway and Monty in Ogasi each have four personal fouls. And if it were... Yeah, on the other side, well, let's take a look at that. 
if we can. St. Francis Huddle. For this final 141, I'm sure she wants to go out and wants them to continue to, to, to execute, just do the fundamental things and finish this game that way. I was going over and we're talking with Coach. I wonder what they're saying to her now. Talking with her. Of course, the uh, officiating group of this game has been Greg Norton, Nancy Story, and Marvin Harris. Excellent group. They've, they've really handled the game well. Powell coming in to the Cummings game. Cummings going out of the game. Cummings has blood on her jersey. That's the problem. Nosebleed. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the free throw is good. Michelle Tampa. Trust me, down under that basket, there have been some reasons for some nosebleeds today. Ooh, there really have been. It's been intense down there. 57-35. Free throws good. Long pass. McDaniel. We've got St. Francis and Green Forest ladies that you're seeing here. But same folks, two schools. Trust me when I tell you, you will not believe what you're going to see in the next game. It's going to be something special. Green Forest and St. Francis, they have played, I think this is their fourth straight year they've played for the state championship. You don't want to miss that one coming up next on GPB. And Tommy. I advertise that one because... I've done the game the previous three years. Yeah, yeah. We, we've seen these, Sam. We've seen these guys. And you know what? Of all the games that are taking place here in three periods, uh, three day period, this game coming up next is one of the most talked about games all week long. People have been looking forward to this one. They have. This is one people have been talking about on social media. You wait until you see what runs on the floor. It looks like college basketball it teams really or pro basketball teams. Like the wholesale changes here, the starters are going out. For St. Francis getting a nice ovation, and they should. Tampa, Cummings, McDaniels, Jordan, and Dodson. They've had a great game. Let's see if we can pick up some of those numbers. Swanston is in there. Tampa is still in to shoot the free throw and misses that one. And here comes Green Forest into full court. Shot is up and good. Nice little bounce there by Ariel Holloway. She has kept the pedal to the metal. She's played hard today and had a good day at the office. Here's Tampa. Another number in there is Emma Motter. Holloway with the foul, and she's fouled out with five. And she'll be replaced by Tabula Ether Owe Gaia. Tampa with the free toss, no good. She'll get another one. Second one up coming. Good. Good Bottom enough. of the net. And now she comes out of the game. She comes out of the game. And another new number in there. You got zero. Number zero is Jasmine Ferraro. Long three from downtown Macon. No good. Follow up. No good. Rebound comes out to St. Francis. Whistle and a foul. Yet again, and to the line, Olivia Swanston. She's played a lot today. She's come off yes. the bench and done a good job. She's played a lot. Third foul on Riggins. 45 seconds left in this one. Swanston fires good. Good shooter. There's a reason she's played a lot today. Here's a player coming in for the first time today. The Green Forest. Carmen Holmes. 
Carmen Holmes, a sophomore. As the day goes out, in the nice ovation from the Green Forest fans. And Green Forest with a rebound on the missed free throw. Driving, pull up, and thrown away down around the baseline, batted away. 59 37, 38 seconds left in this one. St. Francis will repeat as champions yet again. Shot is up, no good. Swanston goes up to clear out the rebound. And in the backcourt, whistle and a foul on Owagehi, or Gaya. I believe that's her fourth. Tobola Yea, Owa Gaya. Shot is up and good by Swanston. Second one upcoming. Good. She gets that shooters one roll. Yeah. Good shooters roll. Green Forest, downtown three, no good. Rebound comes out St. Francis. Swanston yet again. Fouled again. 61-37. Riggins, her fourth. It may take us a while to play this final 20 seconds based on what's happened here. <laughs> Swanston with the free throw, 62-37. And remember this, folks. The young ladies you've seen on the court today for St. Francis, they'll all be back next year. They will be back. And this is their second consecutive state championship. Shot is up in the air, up and no good. Rebound going to come out to Imani. No good. Shot is up and good. And St. Francis going to come down with a rebound, and the game's going to end there. So, St. Francis Lady Knights capture their second consecutive state championship, knocking Green Forest from the ranks of unbeaten. And St. Francis moves to 31 and 1 on a great year, and they will repeat as the Class A private state champions. Sam? Absolutely. And watching this game today, you know, coming in, you know about the backcourt uh, of St. Francis, and we saw that. You know, that their guards do a great job of getting the ball up and down the floor, but then they had the big, the big folks that finished things off uh, down low, and that was big for the game. The points in the paint, like I said, was something uh, that, that Green Forces really had no answer for. I just really thought the two young ladies inside, Jordan and Dodson, yep. really controlled the boards and the game. But those two guards, when you take a look at Tampa, you know, and, and Cummings, and, and Cummings, they control the tempo of the game. Indeed, they did. Yes, they did. That's the that's the final. St. Francis, the winner in this one, and they are the new champions. We'll be back with a great one after the award of the trophy with Green Forest and St. Francis Boys. Great game. The GHSA Basketball Championships are made possible in part by Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more, and by viewers like you. Thank you. The GHSA would like to thank the Georgia Farm Bureau. This moment, getting here took three years of sleepless nights and postponed vacations. Your dad said, play it safe. Your husband kept the faith. But franchising is why you partnered with Regions in the first place. We share your vision for moving forward and at moments like this, Hi, Steve. that makes all the difference. Is your business at a turning point? Regions.
At the heart of our community are the businesses that don't skip a beat. Georgia's electric membership cooperatives stand behind local commerce. Whether keeping farms running or shining a light on new ventures, we bring business, large and small, to our communities. Creating jobs, driving development, supporting dreams. Georgia's EMCs, powering our businesses, lighting the way. Time now to make the presentation for the girls single A private school state championship game to St. Francis. We go to the executive director of the GHSA, Gary Phillips. Coach, on behalf of the association and all our coaches and schools, we want to present you with this championship trophy and a very dominating performance. Congratulations. Coach, back to back, 2015, 2016. Talk about the journey to this year's state championship win. It's been an amazing journey. I want to thank our fans, our headmaster and our president, our, I mean, our, uh, our principal, um, our, our faculty and staff, they supported us the whole way. We've had a long journey, an amazing se season. I have two phenomenal seniors. I'm so happy they were able to go out with a state championship. It's very important for them. Very hard to go back to back, but these young ladies did it, and I'm so proud of them. And you've got a lot of sophomores and juniors in this lineup and freshmen. We do. So starting next week, <laughs> we were looking for a three-peat. All right, good deal. Jayla, come on over. You had an outstanding game. Talk about what it means to you to win this state championship this year. Well, it means a lot. We worked so hard for it. Well, that's well said. Maya, come on over here. You had an outstanding game as well. Talk about just the, uh, the, the, the journey. You took on a team that was undefeated. You guys were 30-1, and one, and you guys won the championship game. Uh, it's a great journey. We knew we had to come in here and play hard. We won last year, but that doesn't mean we're going to win this year. Green Forest is a great team, and we just wanted to come out and play hard and win this championship. Now, as you walk through the uh, hallways here, you might bump into your boys' team. What are you going to tell them? They need to win, too. We're going to go <laughs> back and back, both of us. All right, congratulations. St. Francis wins the girls' state championship, and now it's time for the GPB tailgate party. <laughs> <laughs> 